This ought to encourage us to pray on and to pray more and to pray especially now this evening this petition, Thy kingdom come. It's a sure thing. It will be answered. Persevere. And then the question to us is, do we want to pray this? And the answer is, I trust in your heart, I do. I do. This is what I want. And I will pray this petition from the heart. Consider then, praying for the coming of the kingdom. This is, first, praying for God's rule. Emphasis on the word rule. Second, praying for God's church. And third, praying against God's enemies. Praying for the kingdom and its coming is praying for God's rule and for God's church and against God's enemies. Now as a kingdom, the kingdom of heaven is the royal rule of the triune God by His word and spirit in the hearts and lives of His elect believing people. Now, there was a lot in that, so we'll say it again. The kingdom of heaven is the royal rule of God by His word and spirit in the hearts and lives of His elect believing people. And if you ask, where especially is the rule of Jesus Christ most evident on earth? Then the biblical and reformed faith speaks with one voice. The preaching of the word of God in true churches. John Calvin rightly referred to the preaching of the Holy Gospel as the royal scepter of King Jesus. The royal scepter of of King Jesus. He wields that scepter in the preaching and those who are his citizens bow and honor him. This is therefore what the true citizens of the kingdom of heaven must and do pray in the second petition, to use the language of Heidelberg Catechism, Lord's Day 48, Lord, rule us by thy word and spirit. That is, first of all, Rule us by the royal sector of the preaching. Rule us so that we and our children, not just sit in a pew, but seriously listen to and obey the word. And thereby we shall show that we and our children are truly citizens of the kingdom of heaven and not merely rebels. Because when you're dealing with a kingdom, an old embrace, a universal kingdom, you're one or the other. You're a citizen or you're a rebel. As a citizen, you'll be given the kingdom. As a rebel, the king of the kingdom will crush you. This is an absolute monarchy, the rule of Jesus Christ. Now the other key of the kingdom of heaven, besides preaching, is church discipline. Thy kingdom come. Answer 123, that is, rule us so by thy word and spirit, including through faithful church discipline. Thy kingdom come means, rule us, O God, through faithful elders. Rule us, O God, too, through family visitation. Rule us, O Lord, through biblical pastoral counseling. Rule us, O God, through personal admonition. And God forbid that we ever need it. Rule us, Lord, because <clears throat> I know that naturally I'm stubborn. Rule us, Lord, because naturally I am unruly. The opposite of being ruled. Impose the order of the kingdom of heaven because kingdom is orderly because I am spiritually disorderly. I've got to pray for this because I need this. That's the argument. And Jesus Christ also rules us officially by the two Christian sacraments. Because baptism and the Lord's Supper signify and seal Christ's gracious rule over us. Our loving King declares in baptism, all your sins are remitted. 
our merciful sovereign says you are a citizen of my kingdom with my body and blood I will strengthen you at the Lord's supper so when we pray thy kingdom come we're asking Lord bless me and my family and my fellow saints at the Lord's supper use it to rule over me because this is a means of grace that helps us as we grow spiritually and increase in sanctification and of course we should pray this that we may have a more blessed time of communion at the next administration of the sacrament on Sunday the 19th of December and we should think of this as we pray the second petition because that too is included Now when the child of God prays the second petition, he reads the Bible alone and in his family. He does not pray, thy kingdom come, that is, rule over me by thy word and spirit, and then ignore and disregard the king's great rule book. That wouldn't make sense. He prays instead, the second petition, thy kingdom come, and so he is empowered to read the king's word because being interested in the coming of the kingdom he wants to learn more about the kingdom of Christ and the 66 books from Genesis to Revelation are all about the kingdom of Christ and he wants to learn how to live as a citizen in this kingdom <coughs> so it is the child of God prays over and searches the scriptures on his own and in family devotions because he is asking God thy kingdom come that's what I want that's what I want <coughs> so it is that the kingdom of Christ being the righteous rule of the Lord Jesus to praying this second petition brings about a godly Christian order. Rule effects godly Christian order. Godly Christian order in the church. This is Article 30 of the Belgian Confession concerning the government of and office of the church. Sorry. We believe that this true church must be governed by that spiritual policy which our Lord hath taught us in his word. Namely, that there must be ministers or pastors to preach the word of God and to administer the sacraments. Also elders and deacons who together with the pastors form the council of the church. That by these means the true religion may be preserved and the true doctrine everywhere propagated. Likewise transgressors punished and restrained by spiritual means. Also that the poor and distressed may be relieved and comforted according to their necessities. Some of which things we've already spoken of, and now get this. By these means, everything will be carried on in the church with good order and decency, because Christ is the one, when faithful men are cho chosen according to the rule prescribed by St. Paul in his epistle to Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 3. So when we pray, Thy kingdom come, Christ rules by the word and spirit in the various spheres. First, the church. Second, in our families. Thy kingdom come, answer 123 says, that is, rule us so by thy word and spirit that we, we and my family, and the other families in the church, throughout the world, amongst the people of God, that we may submit ourselves more and more to thee. 